starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself, Atishah Mumid, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Complete Nadic Zone, for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about synchronous and asynchronous transmission. So let's start and discuss our topic in detail. In synchronous transmission, data is transmitted block by block or word by word. If someone asks you that how data is transmitted in synchronous transmission, you can simply answer that the data is transmitted here in the, in the form of block or word by word. So you can transmit a large amount of data or information at the same time in synchronous transmission there are no spaces between the block or between the characters that is being sent and a special communication device known as synchronized clock there is a special device known as synchronized clock that is required to, to be here so in order to schedule the transmission of information and with the help of this device, the sending and receiving devices must be synchronized before data is transmitted. So this is a representation of synchronous transmission. You can see here, this is a sending device. This is a receiving device. So this information, one zero one triple zero one one. this is a block one. This is a block two, this is a block three, this is a block four, and this is a block five, and so on. You can see the direction of this data flow that is from sending to the receiving side. As you can see here, so you can see that in block one, this is a block two, block three, block four, there are no space between these blocks. You can see here. There are no space between the block and the sending device and the receiving device are properly synchronized. So we have a few examples of synchronous transmission like we have chat rooms, video conferencing and telephonic conversation. These are all examples of synchronous transmission. Whereas in A synchronous transmission data is transmitted one byte at a time so this is a major difference between synchronous and asynchronous transmission in synchronous transmission data is sent in the form of blocks or a word and you can transmit data a large amount of data at, at the same time whereas in this case the data is transmitted one byte at a time and there are spaces between the between the bytes to be sent whereas in synchronous transmission there were no spaces so this transmission is mostly used by the micro computers and in this transmission transmissions doesn't occur predetermined means the sending and the receiving device are not synchronized at all in a synchronized transmission because the sending device can transmit byte at any time and the receiving device must be ready to accept them as they arrive so that means the sending and receiving device are not synchronized the sending device must be ready to receive the transmitted bytes that is being sent by the sender so we have two bits here the starting bit and a stop bit and as well as additional bit known as a parity bit that is used for error checking if someone asks you that what is a role of a parity bit parity bit and where we can use in where we can use a parity bit in transmission 
so you can simply answer that parity bit is additional bit that is used in a synchronous transmission in order to have an error checking so for error checking you can use this bit known as parity bit so this is a representation of a synchronous transmission you can see here this one two three four five six seven eight so these are eight bits you can simply call that eight bits or one byte one byte is equal to eight bits and this is a start bit starting from zero and this is a stop bit that is one so start bit is zero and the stop bit is one so this is a sender sending device this is a receiving device you can see here the the data to be sent in the in the direction is from sending side to the receiving side so you can see here this is a byte information to be sent this is a data to be transmitted and this is a stop bit so there must and this is a and start bit so the start bit and stop bit must be here before each byte so this is a stop bit this is a this is a data and this is a start bit so you can see here and also you can see the gap between between the bytes yet as in signal resource mission there was no space at all but here in this case there are spaces between between the byte or between the data to be sent so this is a representation of a signal transmission now we have a few examples of a synchronous synchronous transmission we have email email is a classical example of a synchronous transmission you can if you if you if you are sending an email to someone suppose that if a person a is sending an email to a person b so that doesn't mean that that there must be a scheduled email you can send data you can send email at any time and the receiver must have a valid email address to receive that email so the receiver can you know uh, set or receive email at the same at at any time whereas sending a person can send any email uh, at any time so there must be no schedule there facebook messenger you can send message on facebook messenger anytime you want once you send that the receiver must be ready to to receive your message so the message must be transmitted uh, there and there must be no schedule um, there must be no synchronized sending and receiving must not be synchronized here so whatsapp simple is same as the case with the whatsapp you can send any message to whatsapp and the receiver side must be ready to receive that message anytime and internet share points so these are all the example of a sync synchronous transmission so what we have studied so for today is uh, important two modes of uh, data transmission in computer networks in computer networks so we have a synchronous transmission and asynchronous transmission and the difference is quite uh, clear after having this video you can uh, easily get that that in signal transmission data is sent in the form of blocks or in the form of word whereas asynchronous transmission data is sent to be in the, in, in the form of a byte so there sending and receiving device must be properly synchronized whereas in a signal transmission the sending and receiving device are not synchronized the sending device must be ready to accept data at any time so there was spaces between uh, between the blocks 
in signal transmission whereas in this case in a signal transmission there were there were gap so examples of signal transmission were chat rooms video conferencing whereas in asynchronous transmission email facebook messenger whatsapp and internet are the classical examples of asynchronous uh, transmission so that's all for today if you like this video you can share it if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos in future thank you and have a good day